A pioneer in LGBTQ rights, Sweden is overhauling its policies when it comes to transgender teenagers. Surgery to reduce breast tissue was banned in December for under 18s, and they'll no longer have access to hormone treatments following recommendations from Sweden's public health service. Journalist Carolina Jemsby split opinion when she produced a documentary that told the story of a teen who developed osteoporosis after taking puberty blockers. The knowledge of, of young people, uh, teenagers, actually being harmed by these treatments did make the Socialstyrelse and the Natural Board of Health and Welfare in Sweden wait with treatment to have a normal puberty uh, and then see uh, what happens. Sweden's health authority says little is known about the effects of these drugs over the long term. They also point to an unexplained increase in diagnoses of gender dysphoria, where people feel that the gender assigned them at birth is not the one they identify with. Dysphoria diagnoses increased for teenagers assigned female at birth by 1,500% between 2008 and 2018. Psychiatrist Mikhail London specialises in gender and thinks it's this rise which has led to the newfound caution by authorities. We had a protocol in place uh, that was designed for very rare and extreme cases. Uh, and then suddenly the demand exploded. So we just continued to use that uh, protocol. Uh, and maybe in hindsight, we shouldn't have done that, but I, I wouldn't be the one criticizing clinicians for doing that because uh, it, it was difficult. Do you want to help these patients? I'm guess I'm gonna call you back on your phone. Antonia Lindum began her transition as a teenager in Sweden, receiving treatment from the age of 14. She thinks gender dysphoria cases have gone up because society is more open to trans people, and she's worried for those who no longer have access to hormone treatments. When we actually have had good rights and we, when we have been more accepting, then of course more people are gonna are gonna say, "Hey, this is me also," because there's not a threat anymore. Hormones save lots of people, and I, yeah, I do feel upset that that we don't like that. If I were to come out, if I was thirteen right now, then I wouldn't have a chance. While teenage hormone treatment is coming in for public scrutiny in Sweden now, the country isn't alone in rethinking its rules. Neighbouring Finland started limiting access to treatment for teenagers in 2020, and France has called for great caution using hormone treatments on young people. As policies are revisited, LGBTQ youth representative Elias Fjellander says the health system has to better help trans teens when they seek care. If there is a need for a longer process of investigation for some people, that should be the case. Uh, if for some individuals you might need time to think about uh, whether you want some form of gender affirming care or not, that is time that obviously should be given to you.